Okay guys, hello, this is Martin from Cyber51. Um, today I'm going to show you a evil twin, man in the middle, access point attack, uh, which should make you think of how insecure traditional wireless networks actually are. So for that purpose, uh, we have our tablet here and we launch the so-called evil AP application, which is firing up here. So uh, all you need for this to, to work is you need an upstream internet connection. So there can be a, like a 3G card or uh, another wireless adapter. So in, in our case, we do this with another wireless adapter, which is the internal wireless card. And then we need an SSID. So we call that test. So usually you would call that like, you know, like an SSID, which is around um, or free Wi-Fi or something like that. So we just say test. And then uh, we just want to use the test SSID to be broadcasted. So now we are setting up here our evil access point uh, all done. So evil access point is being set up is listening for requests now. And now we fire up a couple of men in the middle tools. So one of them is T shark, which is basically Wireshark, and very, very nice tool. So we use that in combination with the evil twin and we want to lock everything into a lock file as well. Okay, there we go. So T shark is running, then we uh, fire up strings watch. Strings watch is another very powerful tool which is looking for typical strings and passwords and things like that. And so we're doing this here as well. Okay, and then we uh, fire up SSL script, which is a nice little tool to present HTTP content to the end user. So it's but it's intercepting the SSL connection on the user's behalf. Very nice, especially when you work with HTTPS uh, websites. And last but not least, DSNF, which is a unified sniffer as well. So then we are all set and ready to go. Okay, again, we want to lock all this. Fantastic. So everything is, is now running. Now let's go over to the, to the victim machine. And the victim machine, in this case, we just use an iPhone. And you see, oh yeah, there's, there's a test SSID already broadcasting out. So here you can see that. So there's an SSID called test. And the user would simply just connect to that. Connect up. It's now connecting up to test. As we can see that here, DHCP address is being handed out. Okay, here we go. Now we're connected. And this user now has no idea that he's connected to an, to an evil twin access point. So let's just open Safari, for example, and go to a website like Let's go to live.com or anything like that, you know, like Hotmail, live.com. Let's just go to live.com. And then it's asking me login.live.com. So you, you get to the Microsoft login screen and then we simply put in here like test at test.com or something or whatever doesn't really matter. It's, it's just for you guys to see how how dangerous an evil access point can be. And then here, it's just any password, initiate session. So of course we get an error message here and says like, well, this what we have entered here is wrong. But if we go over here to DSNF, you will actually see that it has successfully captured like our user TETD at TEDD.com password, like just what, I, what I've entered. So you, you can see like, on, on all those um, man in the middle tools I've opened up here. Here you first of all see the activity of the evil access point, like clients trying to um, probe, uh, that's window number one. Then in window number two, you can see uh, pretty much Wireshark activity. So it shows you all the plain text activity, like user activity, where they're going, what they're doing, and so on. And then in uh, window number three, we have our, um, um, which one was that? Let me just scroll back up here. I believe this one was the string watch. Yeah, so string watch obviously also caught on it. Let's just scroll down a bit here so that we don't do any sensitive information. Um, but string watch also, like you, you could pass through all this information which has been captured and then uh, look for the sensitive information like passwords and usernames when you do an audit. Uh, number four, that's SSL strip. So SSL strip, as you can see down here, um, that was our login live, login.live.com. And then we see also in here that the username and password has been 
captured successfully so here you see it and pass wd ted hj what i put in and so basically we have successfully intercepted the communication and the user would have no idea that uh, all the, the activity is being monitored so i, I hope uh, that uh, scares you a bit um, and that you should think twice before connecting to an access point uh, even though you might think you know the access point or who is operating that. Okay, brought to you by Cyber51. Have a good day.